Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our topic today is God's Hall of Faith, Part 11, The Choice of Faith. By faith, Moses, when he was come up to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense and the reward. By faith, he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of a king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Hebrews 11, 24-27 Moses chose not to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of of sin for a season. He chose the reproach of Christ and valued it than the riches and the treasures of Egypt. He chose to forsake Egypt regardless of how the king of Egypt would take it. All of these choices were turning points in the life of Moses. He could have become the king of Egypt. He could have rationalized that if he became king, he would set the people free. But that was not how he had been told the deliverance would come. The pleasures of sin would not have made him to remain true to his duty and to his purpose on the earth. And so he gave up all of that. Though his decisions appeared difficult, they were in line with the divine purpose for his life and he had no regrets. He would afterwards unreservedly commit his life to his God-given mission. And once he had made that commitment, there was no going back, no regrets, no reserve, and no retreats. Although he made a mistake, that made him uh, not to enter into the promised land, he repented and was resurrected from his unknown grave. His choice of faith led him to heaven. Christ came and resurrected him and took him to heaven. He was there at, at the Mount of Transfiguration with Elijah, the real Moses, was talking with Jesus. But if he had not made those choices, he would have become a mummy in some Egyptian museum. And that's the difference your choices can make after you have made them. What kind of choices are you making today with the revelation God is giving you? As you meditate on the will of God for your life, may you receive the power, the courage, the temerity, the audacity, to make wise choices for eternity. May God continue to bless you. This is the moment of power. May you have a nice day in Jesus' name. Amen.